After Effects CS5.5 is a is a significant release, even though it's got the .5 uh, nomenclature. As you can see through here, there's a number of brand new features, but I'm just going to show you show you one, and that's that's called the um, warp stabilizer. The challenge, of course, with shooting with DSLR is that um, you often end up with this sort of uh, problem. Um, you are having sorry, you are using a camera that just doesn't have the, the weight or heft or, uh, to do dollies or to do tracking shots like that. There are a lot of uh, tools that will stabilise footage but it runs into the other problem with um, the SLR footage is the rolling shutter problem. So what I'll do is I'll stop that there. What I'm going to show is the warp stabiliser which simply enables me to search for the effect, uh, warp stabiliser. Okay. I'll drag onto the clip and it processes in the background, so I can continue to edit. There's not a problem with this. I'm, I'm letting it run here in the foreground so you can actually see it. But the warp saver itself, warp stabilizer, you can see it's working through the frames up here, and I can continue to edit here to work. But what it's doing, um, I'll show you some other um, capabilities of it. I have a lot of control over what the warp stabilizer is doing, uh, a lot of um, settings, and I can animate that warp stabilization over time. The problem with other warp stabilizers is it is or other stabilizing um, tools is it crops in the image. So we're using not only just um, the ability to stabilize, the ability to remove rolling shutter, but also the ability to fill the frame using the same content aware fill technology that we have in Photoshop. So what I'll do then is I'm going to cancel that for the sake of um, time and let's have a look at the um, uh, end result. So remember So remember how we were before, and we'll have a look at stabilised footage now. And this is uh, just loading into RAM preview. So remember, this is with a handheld DSLR camera that is now smooth enough for uh, to be viewed as a dolly shot. But you'll also notice that the edges of the, we haven't cropped in on the edges of the image. We are able to see the full frame by using content aware fill to fill in those edges as well. The simple thing um, is a drag and drop. Continue to edit, uh, process it through, but again, it's going to have a powerful uh, impact on uh, our effects images.